Hello everyone, welcome to Frock Up Friday. I hope you all had a good week. I know these weeks have been tough, so we're all just trying to make the most of it at the moment and I hope everyone's getting through as best they can. Thank you for joining us for another Frock Up Friday. They did start in COVID in March last year um, and they're still going, uh, still trying to keep people connected um, and bring a little bit of joy into Friday nights, have a glass of wine, talk some fashion, boys, whatever springs to mind. Uh, I love them and I hope you guys love them too. I know you guys do because we get so much feedback about them. So that's so great. I love it. Um, we do have a little comment box up on our stories tonight um, asking if there's anything that we've missed content wise. Um, otherwise, we'll just keep going. Whatever drops into the store that's different um, and might need some advice on styling or some inspiration on getting out there and doing it a bit differently, um, that's what we'll keep doing. But if there's anything in particular you'd like to hear about, um, drop it into the questions box on our stories tonight so that we can work it into the program. We also have a little poll up to see which time slot works best for everyone. These did start out at 8 p.m. at um, Central, St uh, Central Standard Time and we moved them forward to 7 p.m. So we've got them up um, a little poll at the moment to see what's more convenient. We, we don't want to be right in the middle of putting kids to bed, uh, but we don't want it to be too late where you're sort of falling asleep in your glass of wine either. Uh, last time I checked the poll, it was neck and neck, so I think it's going to be a close one. So have your votes tonight. Um, this is all about you guys. So we wanna give you the content that you wanna cover, um, the chance to interact with each other, um, and the most convenient time slot. So let us know. Uh, tonight, we are talking trench coats again. Luckily, last week we were able to cover the brand new Ginger and Smart Horizon trench coat, which arrived literally hours before Frock Up Friday. Um, and that is like an absolute ripper traditional trench coat. Um, obviously it had heaps of crazy amazing details as well. So it's like super, super modern take, but your more traditional style trench coat. This week we're going to go through the sports trench coat um, because they are around, they are fab, but they're a really unexpected piece. Um, and they can make for some really creative, fun outfits if you have a little bit of inspo. So that's what we're here tonight, to give you a little bit of inspo on the sports trench coat and hopefully you'll be convinced to give it a little go and work it into your wardrobe because I guarantee you, most of the stuff I'll be styling it with tonight, you probably have sitting in your wardrobe going, gee, I wish we had just a cracking sports trench coat to make us look even more outstanding. So <laughs> if your wardrobe is screaming that at you, we've probably got the coat for you tonight, I would say. So I am wearing the new PE Nation um, sports trench coat. I have forgotten the style name of this one. Uh, it'll, it'll come to me partway through, otherwise I'll tag it after this. Um, and we're going to run through some of my favourite looks. This will be a short, sharp and shiny session tonight, I think, because these are actually so easy to style. Uh, I think I've got like four genres of clothing to show you and anything around that type of clothing, if you throw this coat on over the top, it's going to look amazing. Um, and two choices of footwear, sneakers or heels. You know that sports, luxe, zany, but sort of luxury look, heels. Otherwise, the sports trench coat and sneakers are a match made in heaven. I do have um, some ankle boots here just because it's going to look incredible with the outfit. So like this footwear is easy with these, um, but there's kind of two different looks you can go. You can go sporty, sneakers, or you can go sports, luxe, heels. Um, so I'm gonna show you both of those tonight. So first look first, I'm just wearing active wear and sneakers. And look how great this trench coat looks. It just adds an extra vibe to this outfit. Like if I took it off, you'd just be like, damn, you'll put some clothes on. You look like you're about to go to the gym. But throw this on over the top and you've got yourself like a really cool little outfit. It is fully adjustable. It's got a drawstring through the centre here. It's got amazing matte black stud detailing with PE Nation um, branding all the way down the sides. So you can snap these open um, and wear them open through the sides and you can button it all the way down. It's got a removable hood here, and I really love the subtle PE Nation logoing across the back there. Um, and orange is a serious vibe this season. Have you noticed? It is everywhere. So um, I'm loving the color, and it was about time we had like a beautiful burnt orange trench coat in our wardrobes. So this is, this is it. 
I wear this stuff all the time. It's so easy and it means I can be super lazy. I can, and it means I get a little bit more exercise in my day as well. If I jump up and put active wear on straight away, I tend to do a workout or maybe 20 minutes of yoga or something and just squeeze it into my day around other things. Um, if I don't put my active wear straight on, I tend to just slum around the house in my dressing gown until my next Zoom call and then I fake it and put something on over the top but keep my pajama bottoms on. And that is no way to live. <laughs> so I think this is a great jacket for just making you feel a little bit more dressed at the moment, even though um, some of us might not be making the full journey to fully clothed each day. <laughs> So um, I'll just chuck the um, heels on with this just so that you can see I'm not crazy. It does look super, super cool. Um, and it's, yeah, just a fun, a fun take on going out clothes that you will get a few looks. Um, and if that's not for you, then this outfit's probably not for you with heels and heading out. But I love it. And I've gone out dressed like this before. Um, we had a similar trench coat in the store last year. So that was a lot of fun to play with. So let me just throw the heels on for you. And you'll see what I mean here. And a little handbag slung over the shoulder there. And away you go. Next up is loungewear, obviously. You guys know that I'm styling loungewear with absolutely everything at the moment. I am just loving loungewear. It is my fave trend that's come up through the ranks over the last couple of years um, because it's comfy. And I love that you can make it look super stylish as well. So I'm gonna throw on my favorite lounge set at the moment and then this trench coat and we'll see how we go. Back in two seconds. Okay, I'll do it without the jacket first. So you can see my favorite, uh, favorite set at the moment is this brand new set from Peeing Nation. I forgot the name of these ones too. It's the Up something, the Upreach or the Upright Sweat and Track Pen. I will tag those ones for you after. Um, and the trench is the goal side trench. But I love this set at the moment. I'm just absolutely loving all the sporty details. I love the oatmeal mull and the orange. So, so cool. Such a great color combination. And it's just super comfy. And as you can see, I've thrown it on with a pair of heels here. So it's going to be super versatile after lockdowns um, and for something a little bit fun, but also super comfy. Because the thing with lockdown is, I know we're all itching to get out and get dressed up and have a good time, but we've been in comfy clothes for a really long time. It does make it a lot harder to transition back to some of the things in our wardrobe that aren't quite as comfy. That's what I've found anyway. So I definitely am swinging more towards a more comfortable wardrobe these days. So let's go with the goal side trench over the top of my new favorite loungewear. 
I'm going to tie these ties out of the way. It's going to be painful otherwise. There we go. This is such a fun set. I absolutely love this. I'm loving all the plays on the oranges, the oatmeals and the black. These are my absolute faves. Um, and let me just pop sneakers on with it so you can see a bit more of a um, down low sort of version of this outfit. too tight at the back there. I just want those little strings out of the way while I'm demonstrating, but I don't want to keep undoing them and doing them up in front of me. There you go. That's a bit better, a bit looser. There we go. Much better. So there we go. That's one of my other fave looks. I just love this so much. <laughs> Okay, so we've done active wear, as in literally leggings and sports crops. Then we've done lounge wear, um, which looks fab too. Now, obviously, a typical jeans and tee combo with sneakers, heels, ankle boots, and this trench coat, a sports trench coat, is going to go beautifully. Um, we've done the white t-shirt and jeans combo with trench coats last week so you already know that that goes so i'm kicking things up a notch this week especially because we've got this really cool burnt orange trench to play with so i'm going to go i'm still going to go with the light denim because light denim is going to be huge this spring so if you don't have any we've got 40 to 50 percent off of all our nobody denim at the moment so stock up while you can um so i'll demonstrate t-shirt and jeans with the light denim Bit of a funkier t-shirt and because I'm going all out with the funkier t-shirt, I've got some funkier boots to go with it as well. Um, so let's go with that, shall we? Actually, while I've got the sweater on, uh, I'll show you jeans and sweaters and sneakers. How cool is this? Really fun weekend look. I absolutely love this vibe. This sweater is so cool as well. I'm so obsessed with it. And it looks great with tees, long tees laid underneath it as well. I should have showed you that too, really. But I don't want to ruin the surprise. The big tees coming up next. How fun is this look, though? Yes, so fun, all right.
Okay, this is my new favorite tea at the moment. This is the Camilla Cool of the Cathedral over super oversized tea. Um, this is right up there with my favorite teas ever. You guys know how much I loved um, the Lady Lodge super oversized tea, which sold out really quickly. And this is very, very similar. And also the Rainbow Room tea, the black and white zebra print tea, um, all all my fave, fave teas, they've all been super, super popular. Looks like we're right on the money with picking the best selling Camilla teas at the moment. So uh, keep with us and we will bring you the best Camilla teas every single collection, we promise. <laughs> so absolutely loving this. Everyone needs a standout tea. Um, it's super, super heavily embellished with great gold stud work all over the shoulders, all over the sleeves all over the body, it's everywhere, it's amazing. Um, so, let's go with the burnt orange trench over this, and I'm also wearing the studded Camilla boot just for something a little bit fun. There's a lot gonna be going on with this outfit, but I like it. <laughs> Should have known to wear my hair up. Always misbehaves on these Frock Up Fridays. There we go. What do we think? T-shirt, jeans, ankle boots, sports trench. Just something a little bit different. It's not active wear, it's not lounge wear, but it works. Big fan. All right. So we've done active wear, lounge wear, we've done tees and jeans um, with sneakers, tees and, uh, sorry, jeans and sweats, that more casual look. And now we're going to go to a more luxurious look, just to show you that it can be done. So I'm going to put a silk jumpsuit on after, under this um, and rock a silk jumpsuit under a sports trench coat. Let's do it. Okay, I have the Camilla Gothic Goddess strapless uh, jumpsuit on, which you guys know I love. And I've just thrown on the P Nation trench coat. And I'm a big fan of this look, to be honest. Big, big fan. I bet you're sitting there th thinking she's crazy, can't be done. But it can. And I'd do this with the harem pants as well. The harem pants and the sweater would look incredible under this. 
with the sneakers. We've done that look, we did that look last week actually with the other trench coats um, and would look just as cool with this sporty one too. So I hope that's given you some inspiration and some good ideas for these sporty trench coats. I know when you see them online, you go, oh, you know, that looks super difficult. What am I gonna do with that other than maybe active wear or white t-shirt and jeans because they are easy options. But I love layering it with loungewear. That's such a cool look at the moment. Everyone's layering loungewear. Um, you've probably seen me do it because it's cold as well. So it just makes sense. You've probably seen me layer my favorite tracksuits at the moment with my P Nation full court jacket. I've been getting a lot of wear out of that jacket. Absolutely love it. Um, and that's just such a cool vibe at the moment. Like I said, everyone seems to be leaning towards comfort in lockdown or out of lockdown now um, so layering your loungewear with great standout sports pieces like this is a great look you can't go wrong uh, like I said jeans and tees but you can play with them you can really go quite crazy with your tees and Camilla's always good for that they always do some standout tees um, and if you really want to up things a little bit like wear a statement boot like the Camilla boot I was wearing just before just to sort of like get lots of layers of interest happening underneath your sport coat and then stand back and go you know what as a whole that works <laughs> and then don't be afraid to play with luxe fabrics um, it's not just sportswear these coats and that's the thing the only thing limiting you is your imagination um, and that's why they're such a great fashion piece and you can make some incredible looks out of them um, because they are actually quite simple and versatile um, so it's all about just using your imagination layering prints or different fabrics um, playing with colors um, and layering chunkier pieces underneath a hoodie underneath these is really great as well I would have shown that for you tonight but hoodies are a bit difficult to get on and off over makeup and lipstick so I <laughs> try not to use them in these because uh, they're a bit high risk I don't want to ruin them um, yeah hoodies lots of things can be laid under these so I hope those uh, few different styles of clothing that you can layer underneath these and have a bit of fun with has been a bit of an inspiration for you tonight I'm sure you've all got lots of those sorts of things in your wardrobe that you can have a play with but if not you know the deal friends of Courtney discount so um, any of the items that I've shown you here tonight excluding the Camilla boots will be buy one item get 10% off um, so that's friends of Courtney all one word all capital letters or use friends of Courtney 20 all one word all capital letters when you're buying two or more of the pieces that I've shown you tonight and you will get 20% off so and that's only for the next three hours give me a couple of minutes to set up the codes once I get off so <laughs> don't be too quick for me, but you can certainly head over to the website and start popping things into your cart and the codes will both be active in a few minutes. So I hope you had fun. I've had so much fun. We got through that so quickly, um, which is good because it means the video will hopefully upload to Instagram. There's been a few technical issues with that lately. Um, so we will keep it short and shiny here and then hopefully we will definitely get an upload to Instagram tonight so you can re-watch um, if you need to recapture any of the looks that I've shown you. Have a great night guys and I hope you enjoy the PE Nation Goldside Trench. Mwah.